Hi everyone, my name is Benedict from Azapio and today I will show you the new Azapio Payload Designer, which is a powerful tool that simplifies the creation and management of data payloads. For that I'm going to Transaction Azadev Design and that will bring me here to the first screen of the Payload Designer. Here I already find a variety of pre-delivered content, so I could directly start with taking one of the existing templates, let's say for contract material, purchase order, reservation, doesn't matter, that is already all inside here. But I'm gonna build it now from scratch and for that I'm going to that button here, create payload and I will call it my SD order payload application V and version one. So that it could be that could be multiple versions, like a small version, a medium and a large version. Uh, so let's say the small version does contain two tables and the bigger version will contain even more tables. So you could separate that uh, like that. Um, so in that screen you see we have a header section and that is giving me here a status. I will say that is one is here in development and I can also give it here some descriptions. And we have a table section here and below that we see the fields. Uh, that is empty now, but I will add a table in, with the join builder here. So I'm going to click on add table and I'm going to add the VBAC table and also the VBAP table. They are directly connected here and I want to have, that is now an inner join. I want to have it as left outer join, which I can do here directly. That was previously not possible. That was only, that could only be done with the CDS view. So the database views in SAP, they always have an inner join, but now I can do that here directly with the payload designer. I'm going back and you see inside the table section, we see the VBAC table and I could use a WHERE clause here. So I can filter on the data here directly and I can rename those table names. So if I don't want to have um, VBAC table inside the JSON that we send to the cloud, I want to call that here header because it's more describing to me. I can do that here directly. And I see here the parent-child relationship between these tables. So in case we're on a even higher level than the with more tables, then it could be like three or four. Um, and here inside the fields section, we see that all the key fields have been added here directly by its own. And I will also rename that field here to client because it's also more describing to me. And I will add some more fields here by double clicking on this table. Just add the fields here. Also from the VBAP table, a couple of more fields. And then I click save and that's basically it. Then I did create now my um, payload uh, data view. So I'm going to copy that one and into my um, existing configuration. And here you see we have the fields for that payload view name and also for the version. Going to hit save and I'm going to a sales order transaction BA02. And I will do a small change here just uh, to send something, something to the cloud here. As soon as I hit save, it gets sent. And we can look on the payload if we go to the ACI monitor. I'm going to filter on the connection that I just showed you. And here we see the last entry. That's what we just triggered. And under views and show trace, I can look at the JSON that was sent. And you see, that's what we did in the uh, payload designer here. So that is VBAC table that is now called header and also that we have here the client field. That's what we also changed and we have the items table here, which is the VBAP table. So that's basically all you have to do to create your own um, payloads. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for your time and see you soon.